everyone. I hope you're having a good day, and I hope you have something exciting planned for the weekend. Is that getting old? I feel like it is. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Anyway, today we're going to talk about superheroes. Yay! I figured this would be a good topic to talk about since for some reason I'm kind of into superheroes right now. I don't know why. Okay, so anyway, it's not really things that I don't like about them or things that I love about them. It's just kind of things that I think are cool and things that I don't really understand. So the first thing we'll talk about is why the police seem to hate them. I mean, we'll use Spider-Man as an example. Okay, so he's trying to save his city and their city from a giant lizard that's trying to attack and turn everyone into lizard people, and yet the police want to shoot him and handcuff him. How does that accomplish anything? I mean, obviously he's not hurting anyone. It's not like he's trying to kill random citizens. He's getting the criminals and catching them for the police. It's kind of saving them some time. So I don't really understand why they don't like them. But in every superhero movie, the police will try and arrest them or talk bad about them. And that's just wrong. It's wrong that was overdoing it. Okay, anyway. And then the other thing we'll talk about is how they always seem to know where trouble is. And it's kind of weird because, again, we'll use Spider-Man as an example. If you haven't noticed, Spider-Man is quite possibly my favorite superhero. Anyway, so, <clears throat> ran out of breath there. <laughs> so, how there's the car scene where the guy is trying to break into the car and then Spider-Man is just in the back seat all of a sudden. It's like, how did you know that he would be here trying to break into this car at this very minute? And then how did you get in the back seat without him noticing? What? I think that's pretty cool, though. I wish I knew where trouble was before it happened. I wouldn't go places if I knew trouble was going to be there. But then you'd probably have the people that would think that they could get in and get out before the trouble happened. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, and then the other thing we'll talk about is their suits. I don't know if that's the right word. Would it be suits or costumes? Suits. Yeah, suits. There we go. Okay, anyway. How they all seem to wear spandex. And I understand where that might be possibly easier to fly with, but it's kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Nah. Nah. And capes. I don't understand why some superheroes still have capes. Capes would, I think, would make it harder to move because like in The Incredibles where they don't use capes anymore because that one guy got sucked into a plane thing, jet thing. That was a bit mean. Okay, anyway, and then the cosplay costumes, where you have just like these random people dressing up as Captain America or whatever, and then they, they have all these random things that you don't even really see on Captain America, like they'll have black boots and these random accessories that they've added and it's just like why would you add that when he doesn't even have that in real life I don't know but that's some of the things that I think are cool and some of the things that I don't really understand about superheroes and superhero movies so if you think that always knowing where trouble is is cool or you don't understand about the costumes or why the police seem to hate them, then go ahead and tell me down in the comments. And if there's anything else, go ahead and tell me that also because I think superheroes are cool and I want to know what you guys think about them. And, like, literally, I bought three new posters. One of them, this is about to get kind of shaky, is that Adventure Time one right there. My giant hand in the picture. Anyway, and then the other two that I got 
was a Captain America one because he's like my second favorite superhero. And then a um, Marvel one that kind of has like all the Marvel superheroes. And I did not know that there was a female version of Spider-Man. Like in the background, there's a Spider-Man and it's a girl. And I was like, what? What? So anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. And sad news, my Spider-Man shirt that I was wearing the other day that I tried to show you but kind of failed has a hole in it. And I can't get another one. So that's sad. But I have so many superhero shirts. I have like Wolverine, Captain America, Spider-Man, Batman. I think I have two Captain America ones. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah. As you can tell, I'm kind of into superheroes. I think they're pretty cool. And I'm going to go see the Superman, the Man of Steel, next Saturday, hopefully with my mom and dad. So that should be cool. So I'm excited about that. Oh, and today I'm going to watch um, The Dark Knight with my dad, the one with the Joker, because that's kind of cool. Um, we watched The Dark Knight Rises first, which was an accident, and then we watched Batman Begins, and then today we're going to watch the second one. So, after today, I will have seen the Batman trilogy. Yeah. But anyway, so thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, as that'll make me happy. And I will talk to you next Friday. Bye!